Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back with Road to the World Record for uh, our Season 3 January update. We are now into the year 2243, and we are halfway through our season with Barry. So, uh, we're into our third season. Obviously, we got into Europe last year um, uh, again, so that was pretty good. These are the new major nations we could not sign from. So, there was a couple changes. Serbia are now in there. Bulgaria in. We can actually sign players from Belgium and Germany at the moment, but not too much change otherwise. Um, so, when we look at our transfers... Uh, here they are. So we've got Daniel Alvarado. He joined on a free from Hapford West. I think we told you guys that last time. We had him on loan last year and his his, his contract was running out. Um, incredible player. I, I can't believe we've got him on £500 a week. Um, he's been one of our star, star centre-backs this year. Um, probably one of our best centre-backs. So very, very nice to have him. We signed Mirko Damjanovic from Red Star. This, obviously, he's Serbian, but he was made, his signing was made before the new transfer window so he comes in uh just after the, the ban <laughs> takes effect uh, we also signed bogdan araselian um from otolul a romanian uh center back center mid he's been incredible been playing a lot of center back roles actually uh, so he's been very good back there we signed alex pew on loan from afan lido uh, a very good welsh center mid he's currently injured but he's been very good in the attacking midfielder and center mid role we signed our first ever player for money uh andreas flitty onstad from odd for 60k he's an 18 year old norwegian winger uh we decided to loan him out to glitcher this year he's had an okay season but hopefully he comes back next year with a bit of uh bit of sort of experience we signed frank hahn who's our first german uh, a right winger covering role he hasn't played um we just just haven't needed him yet and albert Harmon, who is a cameroonian striker he's 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 good but he just hasn't been able to get in uh, a good run of form so not the best from him to be fair so far um on the outs we saw we let jonathan Vivier go to lekia we let Matthew Watts go to Bangor City for 500k. A lot of releases. And then we just sold Declan Rowland to TNS in the January window for 1.6 million. He had dropped down the pecking order uh, a long way. So to get 1.6 is good. And Goodchild actually went out on loan to Tom Penter as well because he wasn't getting the game time. Um, so we look at our schedule. And a lot of games. We started out with a very good win uh, against Goitra. Uh, they actually had two players sent off, to be fair. So they were down to nine men. Mackay and Darren Dingwall with the goals. Uh, Abba Wisleth started with a fantastic win. Actually, we were streaming this. Uh, we played this game. We, got, we lost 1-0. Uh, no, sorry. We, we won 1-0. Uh, and we got to the Athen Lido game. And we lost 4-1. And then we crash dumped, so we had to replay it. We did win 3-1 this time, so a slightly better goal difference this time. Um, but we did a slightly better against Athen Lido, only a 4-2 loss. Um, we played Bangor City, won 3-0. TNS in the, the Cup, 1-0. And then in the league, 3-1. A 2-2 draw versus Stoke City, as they are in our Europa League group. We were 2-1 up until we got a sending off, and then they scored pretty much straight afterwards. Uh, Tom Pentra was a 2-1 win. Went out in the Premier League Cup to Port Talbot early versus uh, in a 2-0 uh, loss. Goitra was a 1-0 win. Dynamo Kiev was a 1-0 loss. We missed a penalty in the 89th minute, which didn't help things. A 6-1 uh, loss to Haver for West. Haver West are, are on a new level this year, an absolutely insane level. Uh, Carmathan was a 4-0 win. 2-1 uh, versus KV McKellen, who are our last um, members of the group. We needed to win this one. And two goals from Daniel Alvarado, his first ever goals for us. And he gets a brace to, to win it for us there. Port Talbot, a 2-1 win with a Declan McBride uh, goal in the last minute. This this is probably the longest game we've ever played because halfway through this game, we got raided by Zealand. Uh, so 600 people arrived in the stream and it was just the game got put on hold and we were looking up loads of random things all at once uh and somehow even though i wasn't really concentrating mcbride gets us a 93rd minute winner to win us that game which is amazing uh we then uh, beat penny bont as well 2-1 uh two well three goals in four minutes two from rasmussen uh gave us that win a 3-1 win over kv mckellen 1-0 win over the no terrible pronunciation i know uh i apologize to all welsh people out there in the welsh cup 2-0 loss to abba a 1-0 loss to Stoke in the Cup, uh, the Euro Cup. Athen Leader was a 0-0 draw, too bad. Newtown, 2-1 win. Bangor City, 4-0 win. And then finally, a Dynamo Kiev, 2-0 win. Um, and to show you the groups here, as you can see, we got through. We needed we needed to win on the final day versus Kiev, and we did. So we go up in second on 10 points, and we play at Braga in the first knockout round. So we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, we then, after that, had a 2-0 win over TNS, a 2-0 win over Tom Pentra. 
a 3-3 draw with Haver for West, our first ever point versus Haver for West, which is incredible. And, they, and to be fair, we could have nearly made it 3-2, but we, an own goal in the 85th minute equalized for them. To be completely fair, we had three shots on target all game, four shots in total. So it was a bit of a, a, bit of a hit and run there. Uh, a 1-0 win over Goitra. A 3-2 win over Port Talbot, uh, which was a fantastic uh, result. And then a 1-0 loss uh, over Pennybont. And that's where we are at the moment. We've got two games left of the first half of the league. A Welsh Cup round versus TNS and the Euro Cup versus Braga. So if I show you the league, we are in a, an incredible position, sitting currently in second place. We're not going to catch Haver for West this year. They are on some new level stuff. Look at that. 112 goals scored in 20 games. Um... They're, they're on some, some crazy shit at the moment, but we're very, doing very, very well. We want to get better than fifth year, maybe fourth, but uh, we're five points clear. It's very, very close at the top here, so we'll have to see how things go. Um, but, yeah, it's it's been going very well. Um, I'll show you the squad details. Top goal scorer. I don't know if we've got our top goal scorer injured at the moment. No. Um, top goal scorer is Dingwall with 11. Uh, McBride's got 10. Rasmussen's got 9, so it's kind of shared quite evenly between the top three there. Assist-wise, Dingwall's got 10. Marinkovic got 9. Rasmussen, 6. Ramich, 5. Not too bad. And then average rating-wise, uh, Steve Aguito done pretty well. Dingwall's up there, obviously. Marinkovic, um, Madsen, Alvarado's up there. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, it's been it's been quite, quite good so far. Um, our board are pretty happy with it. They're very secure at the moment. We've got three affiliates now. Albacete, Birmingham, and Le Havre from France. Uh, so that's not too bad. Um, but overall, we're doing pretty, pretty well. Uh, we are going to go into this ne next round in the top top six. So it's going to be very difficult from there on out. I just want to show you have a for West's, um, <laughs> have a for West sort of fixtures this year. Because as you can see, they've got three players who in 20 games have 20, 18 and 17 goals each. They nearly have an average of six goals a game. It's over five goals a game. It's like five and a half at the moment. It's 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 madness, honestly. Um, I don't know what they've done. Um, obviously, we want six one. Like the fact we got a three three draw against them. We're one of the only three draws against them this year. Um, it's been incredible. <laughs> the fact we actually drew against them at home. Um, I'm just worried about playing them two more times. Here we go. Uh, it took a little while to load. If you look at their schedule, I'll take out everything else. Um, just the Welsh room. So they won 11 nil. They won 11 1. Uh, 6 1, 7 0, 10 nil, 5 1, 6 nil, 5 nil, And then they've won 16 nil, which is a new Wel Welsh Premier League record over Bangor City. And then 10 nil. So they've scored uh, double digits five times this year. I, I don't know what's what's happening. It's madness. Um, but yeah, so they're doing very, very well. Um, we had a couple of transfers, actually. We got Isaac Saki. He's joining from um, Berwickham Chelsea for 60k. He doesn't have a work permit, but he's a pretty good centre-back. Ghanaian. Um, so we'll have to see if we can loan him out or something. And we are signing Lee Burnett from Penny Bond, who's a 21-year-old Welsh striker. He's, he's good backup, so we'll have to see how he goes as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it so far. We've got we've got more more to come. We're streaming every Tuesday, Thursday, and uh, Saturday at the moment after the Euros finish at um, 10 p.m. GMT, 11 Central. We will get revert back a couple hours once they finish, but come join, at, join in. We've also got a Discord set up, um, so if you want to join in uh, and see how things are going with this save when I'm not streaming, it um, and everything else but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this one it's been Alex and I'll see you guys next time